Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azurautomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today we are going to see how we can work with WSLG or Windows Subsystem for Linux graphics. So this is a new feature which is available in Windows 11. So if you have Windows 11, you can use this particular feature. It is quite awesome and quite interesting to use. So I'm going to show you what is this WSLG is all about. So if you go and search for WSLG, you can see that it is going to tell you that this is going to be a Windows subsystem for Linux with graphical user interface. So this is the most important thing that we need to know about. And this WSLG, as you can see over here, it tells you that the purpose of this project is to enable support for running Linux GUI application, which is using the X11 and Wayland on Windows in a fully integrated desktop and experience, which is quite good because that's the reason you can actually get all the GUI interfaces that you can see over here in your Windows machine itself. And this is quite interesting. So if you have Windows 11, as there is a requirement over here, you could use this particular WSLG. And the most interesting thing is you could install certain applications that you can use on your Ubuntu machines. And I have tried like Firefox and tuner or something like that is all working pretty fine and i'm going to show you pretty quickly instead of just wasting the time of reading the documentation so all i'm going to do is i'm going to open the windows terminal over here and this windows terminal is actually running on the powershell and i have already installed the ubuntu wsl2 again this wsl2 is something that you need to be installing basically uh, from the features and update of your windows so if you just go to the turn on windows features something like this you will see that over here there is this option called as windows subsystem for linux so make sure that you check this and then once you do that in windows 11 they also brought this new what is called as the wsl in the windows store so if you just search for wsl there is something called as windows subsystem for linux preview you can see that there is not even a single icon there which is crazy but you could able to install it. So I have already installed it. That's the reason it is just showing me an open button there, but you could do an installation from here, basically. That's it, that's the installation part. And you can choose multiple different operating system over here. So you can do something like, uh, probably not from this guy over here. So if you just go do something like WSL list, it is gonna show you all the Linux distros that I have installed within my windows machine it also shows you the docker desktop data and docker desktop itself because it is using the wsl as well but if you go to the documentation over here you can also see that it shows you the wsl list hyphen v which is going to show you the different distros along with the versions probably so if you just do that it is going to show you the versions like two so make sure that you have the the version number two if not you can also use the WSLG itself. So this is the most important thing that you need to do. But I want to show you the GUI interface itself. So I have already did the sudo apt get whatever to make sure that it updates and stuff. And now I'm gonna show you running a Firefox browser straight from the Ubuntu environment, this one. So you can see that I don't even have a Firefox browser within my Windows machine. So if I just search for Firefox, you will see there is no Firefox. So this Firefox browser is actually coming from our Ubuntu operating system. And you can see that it is showing me the YouTube, which is pretty cool. And I've also tried playing an 8K video on this particular uh, browser. And it looks like it is playing pretty fine. You can see that the details are pretty good. It is actually quite faster. I mean, even though it is running on a WSL, the performance is super good. It looks like I'm actually working on a Linux operating system. The performance is quite good. You can do all sorts of things over here, not bad at all. And you can also do something like tuner of dot dot. So this is the uh, file manager of Linux operating system. I mean, quite interesting. You can just install that and you will see that it is gonna show me all the file systems over here. But you don't really have to have a file manager over here or something like this. Rather, in Windows 11, you can actually have the file manager straight into your file explorer itself. So this is my C colon, but you can see that within over here, I also have what is called as a Linux option where I can get the Docker desktop, Docker desktop data, 
and the Ubuntu operating system coming up for me, which is cool. So now I can browse all the directories of the Linux operating system straight in from my Windows 11 operating system itself, which is again another insane thing that we could do. I mean, this is pretty cool. So that is the another feature about the WSL2 itself. And now if we want to install something like a the gedit of the Ubuntu is something that I don't really have. So probably I can just do that. And if I hit install and see that it is installing the application for me over here. So the genome text editor is installed. So now if I just do genome gedit probably. There we go and i already have the editor it's quite fast actually so now i can select the open over here and then i can go choose any one of the file system and then i can run it that's pretty faster that's about this wslg and the other thing which i actually try doing myself is this one so if i wanted to run a asp.net core application and if i want to access that in my windows machine i could do that as well that's super easier I mean, it's very, very faster because of the file system access. So if I just do something like this CD, um, and I think, I don't know where it is. It's on the CD uh, sample. No, it's, I think it's CD sample. Yeah, this one. And let me do an LS. Yeah, it's the GraphQL net. Uh, and I think if I just do a .NET, could see that I'm actually building a .NET application on that particular uh, Linux machine, which is the WSL2. And now if I just do a .NET run, I could able to run a .NET application over there, which is over here. So let me just copy this particular URL. You can see that it is actually showing me the application coming up. And now I can just try to access the application pretty much like how I used to do it. So you can see that it is showing me the products, uh, probably it's products. And I can get the ID, the name, and the description, something like that. So this is a GraphQL application that I developed. It is up and running, which is cool as well. So I could able to do all sort of things from the WSL very, very faster. It is working pretty much faster like it is running as if like I'm running in my Windows machine. So that's the power of the WSLG. So that's it guys. This is about the WSL2 with the G support or the graphic support. It is quite interesting and awesome.